Okay, so today we're working on a 2000 GMC. I gotta replace the uh, water pump. It's uh, leaking real bad. I don't know if you can see under here anything or not, but uh, I don't know. We got the great so you're not gonna be able to see it leaking. But it's basically dripping on the cross member across the bottom of there. So I gotta go ahead and remove this fan shroud. We can remove these 10 millimeter bolts here and here. And this all the shroud's gonna come out to remove the air intake that I have to get out of my way too. And then I uh, take the bolt off and start pulling off the bolts. I want to unbolt the fan, then get to the bolts for the uh, water pump assembly. So that's the plan. So we're gonna try to uh, get her done. Okay, we remove the air intake assembly. Remove that. That's two little clamps. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts for the top of the fan shroud. And I remove the top radiator hose that went there to here, which is not sitting there. So, next thing I'm going to do is pull out these pins down here to remove the top of the shroud out. So, we can get this thing out of the way so we can get access to the belt. And then we'll just start taking the the uh, pulleys out to unbolt this, the uh, belt tensioner. That looks like that's bolted into the water pump, or at least behind it right there in the corner there. So I'll have to get that out of the way to get this out. Just gotta be careful because it's really hot. Shouldn't have to remove the out of there pulley, but I may do it anyway. So I'm not sure if that's 100% right. I'll just double check on that. Then we gotta unbolt the ones from the fan to get the fan out. And then we'll take off the lower hoses here, the heater hoses. They'll have to be unclamped and taken off as well. And then we'll go from there. Sorry for the focus on this thing. It's really being a piece of shit. I'm not sure why. Trying to clean it there. That didn't really help. Okay, so. <clears throat> now I've got the uh, shroud off. Which I have sitting over there. Um, it was just basically a couple of these little pull tabs. Which you can see right here. Um, I just used a little straight edge screwdriver to go between it and uh, popped them apart and got it apart so now I'm going uh, behind the fan to pull this off which there's one two three four five I believe five um, 13 millimeter bolts right there so I got a big half inch socket using as a brace so when I go to loosen it I don't, I don't have you know I got tension on that so I got my 13 inch wrench here and I'll just uh Turning those bolts, let's see, lock it, and I'll be able to turn it. So we basically just go around. I got. I have a ratcheting one, but of course I can't find them right now. So we're doing it the old school way. I'm trying to get the camera to go so you can see what's going on here. You get the idea. I don't think I can put a socket back here. I'm gonna try to see if I can fit my slim ratchet. But in worst case, I got something to fit anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these apart. Okay, so I got those bolts off of that, which is not loose. Not that they really matter, because actually we're gonna reuse that. So those are relevant, but I'm gonna clean them anyway. So what I got now is I have the pipe wrench on the back because that shaft has to come out of the water pump. So I'm gonna twist it that way. And I got another socket up here, half inch, held into the alternator and brace on this. So when I get to pull this down, this will press against this and hold the belt and everything from turning. and give me some resistance. And I actually had a sledgehammer. I was actually able to break it. So now that bolt is loose and I should be able to unscrew it off, actually. So that's, that's the plan. Of course, fans loose, like I said. So now that main bolt should be loose. I'm going to have to get some uh, crescent wrench or something like that. Down there to twist it. Let's see here. Okay, so I've got myself some uh, adjustable pliers here. So we should be able to spin her loose here. Probably would have been good actually leave those bolts on there, but you know. You can see it's spinning. Basically, we're just going to turn that.
Oh, she's off there. Actually, I could probably just spin it by the front. front piece. There we go. Oh, yeah, she's coming off now. There we go. She's off. Uh, back to the water pump now. Clean the fan up a little bit. She's a little dirty. And like I said, I can pull the belt off. Get that out of the way. Hey, look at this. This display doesn't look right. So we got to make sure that thing didn't get pushed back on itself. I think that's a little fucked up to look at that bearing. I need to replace that one. But you can see the energy is dripping right there. It looks to be from the water pump or behind it or something. So that's definitely where it's leaking from. Right there. right there and we'll see what's broken i gotta make to take this tent care out this one's gonna come off the two bolts right there probably like a 15 millimeter so like i said we'll take the tension off the spot first get that off of there we can get all this shit out of the way now okay I just pulled the air cleaner, I lost a bolt down there, so that's why it's sitting up on top in the motor up there. Like I said, let's find ourselves a wrench here. Fourteen, fourteen. in a way. I knew that was going to happen. Do it. Do it like that so I can sit down and get the bolts up to it. 